And before we leave, there's a question he saw me ask once before of someone else in recovery. He thinks it's interesting, so I ask him too. How will we know when you're in trouble, when you're not okay? If I say, I'm just going to chill alone at home tonight. And part two, the other thing, is if I ever say I'm cured. The area home where he was found dead is reportedly his own home, and it was an assistant who had initially called 911 reporting cardiac arrest. From what we understand, this was first reported by TMZ, but several outlets, including us, have confirmed it in in that time. And from what we understand, he'd spent the morning very active, playing pickleball for a few hours, came home, sent his assistant out on an errand, and when the assistant returned a few hours later, found him in an apparent dire condition. I don't know if he was dead at that point or suffering some sort of heart attack, but he was found in the jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. What's unclear is whether or not he was just in the jacuzzi when he died or had drowned in the jacuzzi. So there's quite a few questions there. And DailyMail.com has spoken to a longtime friend of Matthew Perry's and someone who was in recovery with him who said he spoke to Matthew Perry just a few weeks ago and he sounded upbeat and sober and great. So this came as a really big shock to even people in his inner circle. I think there are fears among people who knew him and of course people who are fans of him that he could have potentially relapsed. But according to this source that we had who knew him pretty well, the last time he spoke to him, He seemed great. In 2004, I asked Jennifer Aniston about all her colleagues, including Matthew, whose struggle had become public, as his friends grappled too. What doesn't Matthew know? That he's all right. We didn't know. We, you know, we weren't equipped. We weren't... uh, to deal with it. You know, nobody had ever dealt with with that. And, you know, with the idea of even losing him or... One of those six young friends creating a new kind of funny, a new kind of family. Okay, who wants light cheese and who wants dark cheese? Jennifer Bing, played by an actor who was effortlessly so fast and original. Someone at work ate my sandwich. Well, what did the police say? (laughs) And now it seems impossible that all those years ago when we were laughing, we never knew that the young star was fighting for his life in a riptide of addiction. It was pulling him to hell and back over and over again, and he was trying to keep it a secret from everyone. Secrets kill you. Secrets kill people like me. And you could really tell when you watched his most recent interviews that he was really struggling with himself. And, you know, we all wanted to believe that he turned that corner in reference to, you know, some of his substance abuse issues in the past. Sam, do we know anything about the circumstances leading up to his death? Maybe what he was doing in recent days? Was he alone? Any insight into that? Not not so much, Alina. I'm sure we'll get more of that in the next few hours or next few days. We do know that he had a new residence that he moved into a new place recently, uh, and that he was the type of person who moved with some degree of regularity. Oh my God, it's her. It's that Victoria's Secret model. Matthew Perry, looking back at scenes from Friends when everyone was having such a good time. I'm fine. No, I'm not alone. I don't know, some guy? Yes, he was some guy. (laughs) 